Welcome back. This is the second part of the Cyberlink Photo Director 12 tutorial video. Last time we covered the full mode where it has all the full features in regular UI mode. This time we're looking at express mode where you can make quick edits with the click and go features. Let's get started. We are now in express mode. As you can see, you don't have as many options as you do in full mode. You do still have some of the tools here just to move and change the layout and zoom. The zoom tool and pan tool. On the top, you'll notice these tabs presets, express layer template, and AI style transfer. Here are some of the presets. We'll try some out in just a sec. If you look down here, you see these options for adjust manually, save as, and clear. You can save the photo by save as. If you were to click on adjust manually, this workspace that you see will change to full mode. But for now, we're going to keep it in express mode. So let's try some of these filters out. I mean, presets. Let's see what we can come up with in express mode. there aren't that many options even though you can still be creative and make this look like a great photo but then options here are limited let's try select selecting adjust manually and go back to full mode let's see what we can do now
this is what I came up with. It doesn't look too bad. It's not perfect. If I were more of a professional, maybe I could make this look better, but for now, this is all right. Now let's export it. Here we have the three versions of this photo. The original, the one that's slightly edited, and the one we currently finished. So let's export this one. Overall, Cyberlink Photo Director 12 is not a bad photo editing program. It certainly has a lot of features and it's not too difficult to use. They need to have some idea of how to use the features and how to combine them or use them together in your project to enhance your photos.